she crazy? Kanye West throws shade at Kylie Jenner. Amber Heard lawyers expose her for lying. Welcome back to Binge Worthy Network. Kanye West just went against his sister-in-law, and the Hollywood actress has been dropped by her lawyers. Here's the latest news in the world of entertainment. But before we jump in, hit that like and subscribe button to be notified and updated on the latest Hollywood dramas and scandals. Kanye West versus Kylie Jenner. The Kardashian-Jenner clan is one of the most influential families in the world, with collectively over 700 million followers from across the globe. Everyone is familiar with the notorious reality TV stars. But apart from being television stars and personalities, the Kardashians are known for their controversial relationships, and no one is more controversial or scandalous than Mr. Kanye West. Ever since Kim and Kanye first got together in 2012, the Hollywood couple has been making waves online. Whether it's because of cheating allegations or their billion dollar businesses, Kardashian and West are never too far away from the headlines. And more recently, Kanye found himself being a topic of conversation after he went against his own sister-in-law and fellow billionaire, Kylie Jenner. When it comes to Kanye's relationship with the Kardashian sisters, the rapper has been caught dissing them on numerous occasions. Who can forget about Kanye's wild outburst on Twitter? In July of 2020, during his mental breakdown, Kanye went on his social media platforms to expose the entire Kardashian-Jenner clan, including the momager, Kris Jenner. Kanye tweeted, Kim tried to bring a doctor to lock me up. With a doctor. Kris and Kim, call me now. Kris, don't play with me. You and that Kanye are not allowed around my children. Y'all tried to lock me up. Everybody knows the movie Get Out is about me. They tried to fly in with two doctors to 5150 me. I've been trying to get divorced since Kim met with Meek at the World Off for prison reform. I got 200 more to go. This my lady tweet of the night. Chris Jong-un, Chris and Kim put out a statement without my approval. That's not what a wife should do. White supremacy. But Kanye's bizarre rant isn't the first time the Kardashian sisters have faced the wrath of the rapper. Because, as every insider in Hollywood knows, Kanye and Kylie Jenner aren't as close as they seem. In reality, the stars are more like enemies than family members. And here's why. As most of you might have heard by now, there are three official billionaires in the Kardashian family. The first being the youngest and the most popular, Kylie Jenner, who joined the exclusive club at just 21. Then it was Kanye West, and last but not least, Kim Kardashian. But even though the reality TV stars are wealthy, Kanye always had a complex with Kylie Jenner having more money. This notion was confirmed by Forbes magazine after Kanye West tried to lie about his actual net worth. In August of 2020, the finance-based publication was quick to call out the internationally beloved rapper on his lies and manipulations, and Forbes was even brave enough to accuse Kanye of being jealous of his younger sister-in-law, Kylie Jenner. Forbes stated, when we featured West on the cover of Forbes last summer, delving into his incredible success with Yeezy, he seemed pleased at first. His world-famous wife, Kim Kardashian West, even tweeted her congratulations to the positive affirmations of 32,300 of their closest Twitter friends. But without sufficient documentation on his unusual stake versus just his word and industry guesstimates, we didn't call him a billionaire, and that grated on him. The publication continued to explain, when our annual billionaires list appeared earlier this month, again, with West absent, still no documentation, and now a pandemic to boot, West again reacted with hurt and venom. At one point, he texted that Forbes was part of a group of media, quote unquote, that was trying to suppress his self-made narrative because of his race. That sister-in-law, Kylie Jenner, did make the list, also clearly stuck in his craw. And finally, Forbes ended their expose by dragging Kylie into Kanye's bizarre lies. Then, yesterday, a breakthrough. West directed his team to provide what we feel is an authentic numeric look into Kanye Inc. It does confirm, based on our estimates, that his stake in Yeezy indeed makes him a billionaire. A bit over $1 billion, actually. West's aggressive $3 billion self-appraisal is clearly based on the idea that the business is infinitely portable. It's not. All told, our current net worth estimate for Kanye West, $1.3 billion, which he'll be pleased to note is 300 million more than little sister Kylie. 
Yikes. It looks like Forbes magazine didn't hold back when it came to dissing the rapper and Yeezy designer. The publication was also very honest when speaking about Kanye's insecurities and his jealousy issues with Kylie Jenner, which is why many aren't surprised to hear about West and Jenner not getting along, even though they are family. But what do you think? Amber Heard's lawyers expose her. If you thought Kanye and Kylie's secret jealousy was shocking, wait until you hear about Amber Heard's legal troubles. When it comes to scandalous and jaw-dropping Hollywood divorces, only a few can come close to the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp mess. The A-listers announced their divorce in 2016 after only being married for less than a year. But that's not the most shocking part. According to court documents, Amber filed on the basis of physical abuse. As soon as this news made its way online, Johnny Depp became one of the most hated actors in Hollywood. Two years after Amber filed for divorce, she wrote an article to the Washington Post where she called her ex-husband abusive, physically, mentally, and emotionally. The op-ed became such a controversial topic, Johnny Depp's legal team had to retaliate quickly with a defamation lawsuit. And so ever since 2018, the ex-couple has been in a $50 million lawsuit battle. But more recently, some new allegations have come up against the Aquaman actress. When Amber Heard first began her legal battle against Johnny Depp, she turned to famous and successful Los Angeles-based lawyers. Most notably, Amber teamed up with Roberta Kaplan, the co-founder of the legal defense team for the Time's Up movement. With such a strong attorney at her side, Heard thought she would end up being a victor in court. But that notion changed when Roberta suddenly quit Amber's team and went on to expose her in a subtle way. And here's why. In 2018, Johnny Depp, filed the first defamation lawsuit in the state of Virginia. Ever since, the court battles have been taking place in the same state. Due to the pandemic and new travel limitations, Amber was forced to switch to a local council instead of sticking to her LA-based team. But that's not the reason why Roberta Kaplan suddenly parted ways with the actress. Because according to Johnny Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, here's the real reason why Kaplan quit. Ms. Heard's lawyers, one of whom co-founded the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund, have now apparently unhitched from Miss Heard's long disproven frauds. We intend to discover why. For those that may not remember, back in 2016, Amber and Johnny's divorce was finalized and the 34-year-old actress ended up getting $7 million in settlements. But as a way to prove her innocence, Amber promised to donate all the money to two charities, ACLU, a nonprofit organization defending individual rights, and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Amber said, as described in the restraining order and divorce settlement, money played no role for me personally and never has, except to the extent that I could donate it to charity and in doing so, hopefully help those less able to defend themselves. As reported in the media, the amount received in the divorce was 7 million and 7 million is being donated. And if you think donating 3.5 million to a charity seems too good to be true, it was. Because as it turns out, Amber Heard hasn't donated the money. In late 2020, Daily Mail UK published an article where the Hollywood actress was exposed for pocketing the money and for not fulfilling her promise. According to the publication, Amber only gave away $100,000 to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles while the ACLU hasn't received any donations to date. And so, with such a shocking revelation in sight, many began wondering if the actress kept the rest of the divorce settlement for her own benefit which is why the famous Los Angeles lawyer, Roberta Kaplan, decided to quit Amber Heard's team and dissociate herself from the controversial persona. But what do you think? Do you think Amber Heard kept the charity money for herself? Do you think Kanye West and Kylie Jenner secretly hate each other? Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and give us a like. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications and share this video with your friends. Goodbye, everyone.